and welcome to this month's editorial video all about chatbots and wow, what a packed month this one is. We have two articles this month, each one offering insights from varying perspectives on the topic. We've also got Review Pro's Chief Operating Officer, Neil James, joining us in this video for his take on chatbots in the industry today. And also on the podcast, it offers a great panel discussing the topic in further detail. But let's get started with this video. As I said, we're changing the format a little bit this month. Neil James is joining us, and I've asked Neil some questions regarding chatbots that I think you might find quite interesting. But before we get to that though, I'd like to cover a few things. Chatbots are not a replacement for human beings, and are no reason to let job positions go or be replaced by a bot or AI. If anything, chatbots should be seen as an enhancement to your existing team and only add value to the service that you already give to your guests. I'd like to highlight three key points from Benjamin DeVisme's article on this. While every guest is unique, most of their questions and requests are repetitive and can be automated. Chatbots act as a filter so that only the questions that require human attention will be escalated to human staff. The conversion format makes it easy for customers to get the information they want, but it is also enables the chatbot to capture customer details, travel dates, special wishes, etc. This information can be pushed to the booking engine for direct conversions and to the hotel sales team so the booking requests that didn't convert can receive a sales follow-up. Old school static content is becoming less and less relevant to mobile customers that have grown used to fast interactions. Chatbots offer instant access to relevant information at any stage of the customer journey. Okay, now over to Neil from Review Pro to cover some questions that I've asked. The first question I put to Neil was if he could give us a description of how chatbots work and explain the difference between rule-based chatbots and AI-based chatbots. I think I'll start with the rule-based chatbot. Um, these are basically decision tree bots. They react to the user based on taking him or her down a specific path, similar to how a phone system works. For example, if you want to know your balance, press 1. If you want to report an incident, press 2. Now, these have their place as a bot technology, but they lack the ability to have human-style interactions and the ability to understand things outside of a limited context. They are good for capturing data, they're easy to deploy, and they're generally easier to integrate with existing systems. AI chatbots, however, will these learn to understand what the user wants to do and the details of that intent. For example, given a phrase like, my wife and I are traveling to Berlin on the 10th through the 13th of September. The bot would understand that the desired intent is to book a room in Berlin for two people on a specified date range. If the user said, my wife and I would want to book a table for two tonight at eight o'clock in the Blue Hill, the bot understands that the desire is to reserve a table at the restaurant for tonight at eight o'clock for two people. The key thing here is that the bot isn't looking for specific keywords to handle this task. It learns what the intention is from examples of what a restaurant request is and what a booking request is and what entities exist in that context. As more inputs are given, the bot learns and improves. Following up from Neil's response to the first question, I then asked him, Based on these two types of chatbots, what criteria should hotels consider when choosing the right one for them? Well, I think the ideal scenario is to choose a solution that is deploying both technologies together. In the examples I mentioned just now, the bot uses AI to understand the user's intent, but then may employ a tree-like flow to obtain missing data. By deploying both together, even if you are in a flow, the bot still uses AI to understand what you want. The bot may ask you, for example, when do you plan to check in? 
The user may reply three days from now and the bot would understand what that day is. Similarly, the user might just reply, what time is breakfast? The bot would understand that the user has now a different intent and ask if they want information rather than completing the booking. Apart from the current situation that hotels are facing now due to COVID-19 and social distancing needs, I asked Neil if he could highlight some specific reasons why chatbots should become a key part of any hotel management strategy and tech stack. So over the past year, while we've been working on the project of guest experience automation, we've spoken to many clients related to the kind of repetitive questions that keep coming to the front desk or to the call center. And the results were astounding. We had a chain of 30 hotels tell us that 63% of the emails or messages we received from the same eight questions. 63% coming from the same eight questions. And then a chain of more than 800 hotels told us that 92% of emails or messages came from the same 18 questions. 92% of the whole amount of queries were on the same 18 questions. So now, as an employee in a hotel or a guest checking into the hotel, Think about the queues at reception or at concierge. Think about how much of that queue is made up of people that want to ask these repetitive questions. Imagine now if you could reduce that queue by making the answers available to those questions online through the messaging channel of the guest choice. Imagine the improvement in service that can be provided to those guests who actually do want to check in or check out or have a more complex query. Also, imagine during the times of COVID, how you can make your team available through a messaging tool, but making sure that they only need to deal with the queries that the chatbot can't respond to. With the chatbot solution, the system can respond to the majority of those queries and then escalate to a team member only when necessary, when it can't address those queries. And finally, as with all of our videos, I put to Neil the pros and cons of hotels implementing their own chatbot systems and asked him if he could break that down for us. Yeah, so I think um, I'll start with the cons first on this. Um, so obviously, many people um, find it difficult to speak to a bot. Yeah, they get a little bit uncomfortable, they're not used to the technology, they might get a little bit nervous um, if the bot isn't understanding the initial intent. Um, losing the interpersonal connections. Uh, you know, in hospitality, we always talk about uh, treating the guest as an individual, not another number, and all of a sudden, you know, you have technology that's dealing with it. Uh, and then obviously, I think it's important to bear in mind that there's obviously cost of implementation, cost to maintain tools such as these. Uh, but then if we look at the pros, I think the first thing is to look at the fact that the guest gets immediate communication. You know, as soon as they go online, they have a response to their particular query. And they have easy access to that information. It's available 24 hours, seven days a week meaning that a potential guest that's looking prior to booking or prior to arrival at the hotel or any queries that may come up when in the past we've had those big thick guides in the hotel that nobody actually reads, well, all this information is now available through the ability to communicate with the bot. And obviously post day as well, if there's any queries once the guest has left, uh, regarding this day, some clarifications, or to make another booking. Um, bear in mind as well the efficiency. Yeah, you've got the ability to make sure that the bot continues to learn. You can continue to add information into it so that it can continue to respond to uh, the queries of the guests um, and better service to the guests. I mean, again, I'm an ex-hotelier and I know that uh, during the night, either you've got really few staff on or the person who is dealing with those guests uh, on the night shift 
might give a great service one day and a really bad service the next day, depending on the ship. Well, you can be certain that with a, a chatbot solution, obviously, you get consistency in service. Also multilingual. Yeah, the bot is multilingual, so it can respond to many, many languages. Um, so all of a sudden, you know, we know again in situations where maybe we've had to look at the size of our teams because of um, lesser occupancy. Well, you have the opportunity here to make sure that you still have multilingual covered through uh, the bot that is available. Uh, again, you can promote social distancing. So if your guests have any queries during the stay, uh, then obviously go on to this particular uh, page, ask your questions here. You don't need to come to reception, uh, whether it's queries about your stay, queries of, that you need extra towels, or that something in your room is broken that needs fixing, all of that can go through the chatbot. Uh, you also get analytics to help improve processes. So you're going to get information to say the bot was unable to answer these specific questions. And that gives you the ability to really make sure then that you're uh, providing more and more information to the bot so it can deal with more and more queries that come from the guests. And I think as well, it's about thinking about the fact that now, specifically after COVID or during COVID, everybody's used to being more connected. Everybody's used to speaking to people on their phones, their iPads, their computers. They're used to looking for information a lot quicker and having it available that much quicker as well. And, you know, with everything that's happened uh, uh, with the industry, people are actually starting to get used to communicating with these technologies. Um, the other thing then is the ability, the capability of integrations, right? So because we're talking about AI, there's the ability to uh, integrate into various services to make sure that either the chatbot can integrate to other services or that that information can be passed on to other tools in order to help improve service moving forward. Um, so I think, uh, as you can tell by the points that I've raised, uh, definitely a lot more pros than there are cons. Well, there you have it, folks. I hope you found that helpful and informative. And as always, thank you for subscribing and watching. We really do appreciate your support. If you would like any further information about this topic or from those who contributed, please do not hesitate to let us know. Until next time, it's bye for now.